a book that I haven't read yet, which I want to read, is uh, Abu Abu Hassan Nedwi's book about uh, what do you call it? Why Islam? Mother Hasr al Alam in what do you call it? What's, what's it called? I forget the name of the book. But why did the, the the why did the world lose out from the thing of Islam? It's like what well, decline of Islam basically. Why right? he's he's doing a social commentary. I think a lot of his books have been translated. Abu Hassan Nedwi. He is. I think he's so underrated, especially for Arabs. They don't know about the Indian guys, yeah. like Abu Hassan Nadwi, uh, what do you call it, Dehlawi, and these guys. It's, yeah. it's uh, very nice, to be honest. Yeah, a lot of those uh, big ulama, uh, they're from Darul Uloom, uh, either Darul Uloom, Dioband, or affiliated Mad Madaris. But Abu Hassan Nadwi, he's you know a giant, mashallah. Yeah. And Shah Wali Allah, as you mentioned, um, at the Hinawi, he was giant, mashallah. So their contribution. In many ways, I, I, think, now... I think these guys are big scholars. I don't think the Arab world has produced things like uh, scholars like that. Like I'm the honest. modern times, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. that's a big in the last hundred years, like. Yeah, but they were a, a lot of them were in Medina and Mecca, and they were teaching Hadith uh, in yeah. Masha and Nabawi and things like this. So, but their works, as far as the Western Muslims who are learning Arabic and they're trying to access the works of the great ulama, they shouldn't overlook. I think this is what you're saying. They shouldn't overlook the giants um, like Abu Hassan, Nadwi, and yeah, yeah, of course, uh, Shawil, all of them. So, mm -hmm. mashallah.